Hi, my name is Philip King, and welcome to this tutorial series on writing a WordPress plugin. Since each of the tutorials in this series builds on each other, I recommend you progress through the tutorials in the order they are presented. All the code for these tutorials will be shown in the videos, but obviously you cannot copy the code using cut and paste from a video. So a text version of the code, along with the videos and a PDF version of the series, is available on my website. The link is shown below. In previous lessons, we introduced plugins, built a basic working plugin template file structure, and created a plugin class for our plugin. In this lesson, we'll cover hooks, actions, and filters. What are hooks, actions, and filters? Unfortunately, the more research I do, the more I realize people simply don't understand the concept of hooks, actions, and filters very well. Most people seem to find this concept the biggest barrier to creating plugins. Just remember as we continue, plugins, hooks, actions, and filters are nothing more than PHP files containing functions which interact with WordPress and each other. Hooks are nothing more than placeholders in your PHP template files. At various times during the execution of the WordPress code, WordPress checks to see if any plugins have registered functions to run at that time, and if so, those functions are run. WordPress provides lots of hooks for plugins to hook into their code. According to WordPress, hooks are provided by WordPress to allow your plugin to hook into the rest of WordPress. That is, to call functions in your plugin at specific times and thereby set your plugin in motion. There are two kinds of hooks, actions and filters. Why are hooks necessary? Like any major piece of software, WordPress continuously evolves. Without hooks, if you wanted to change or extend some functionality of WordPress, you would have to modify core WordPress files every time a new version of WordPress was released. Thanks to hooks, you can upgrade both WordPress and your plugin knowing that your coding is separate and will continue to operate as specified. To use hooks, you need only do two things. Create a function to implement your code. Create a call at the hook position to your code. That might sound strange, but once you see how easy WordPress has made this tax, you'll be both surprised and amazed. What are actions? WordPress states, actions are the hooks that the WordPress call launches at specified points during execution, or when specific events occur. Your plugin can specify that one or more of its PHP functions are executed at these points, using the Action API. The basic steps to making this happen are, Create a PHP function to execute when the event occurs. Hook the function to the event by calling the add action function. What are filters? WordPress states, filters are the hooks that WordPress launches to modify text of various types before adding it to the database or sending it to the browser screen. Your plugin can specify that one or more of its PHP functions is executed to modify specific types of text at these times using the filter API. The basic steps to making this happen are create a PHP function to execute when the event occurs, hook the function to the event by calling add filter. Which to use? Action or filter? You can sometimes accomplish the same goal with either an action or a filter. For example, if you want your plugin to change the text of a post, you might add the action function publish post, so the post is modified as it is saved to the database. Or you could use a filter function, the content, so the post is modified as it is displayed in the browser screen. Well that's all for this tutorial. Hopefully this lesson gave you some insight into hooks, actions and filters. I'll see you in the next lessons when we start writing some useful action and filter functions.